Hi, I am Smok, and this is Quick Answer. Today we'll learn how to code good arguments for your functions. When reading a book about clean code, perhaps written by Uncle Bob, you may find that ideal functions are nihilistic, which means they have no arguments at all. That sounds very controversial, even harsh. But what authors of clean code practices want to convey here is the fact that the less arguments your function has, the better. Of course, not all functions can be useful without arguments, but an argument can be made that all functions should be useful with only a few of them. Okay, so how do we name different categories of the functions? We have nihiladic, monadic, dyadic, and triadic functions. Simple enough, but why does this actually matter? Starting with a trivial example, we have a function that takes a file name and includes the header in it. Include header. Each time you see this function, you'll stop for a second and think, is this a file handle, file descriptor, or file name? How much cleaner it would be to create a class that stores the file reference, whatever it is, and offers a simple nihiladic function. Include header. Such function becomes obvious, and our eyes just glide through it. This philosophy is easy to follow, but what if it doesn't make sense to create a separate class just to wrap one time use argument? Enter monadic functions. Single argument functions are usually divided between ones that ask about the argument, like meets password requirements, or produce a result from the argument, like to upper. Recommendation here is pay attention and pick names that explain this well. Another sin that I see in the code is using output arguments instead of the return value. Mentioned before to upper should never be an in-place function, as the produced string is transformed into something totally new. Third case brought to my attention by Robert Martin are flag arguments. Here, let me give you an example that you may encounter in the wild. Draw true which is draw with a single boolean argument. Can you immediately tell that the function signature is actually draw boolean in frame? Of course you can't, but if you had two functions, draw in frame and draw in view, it would be obvious, wouldn't it? Dyadic functions should follow all the rules that we mentioned before and more. Function could have less arguments when some of them are more related to each other than the function itself. Let's get back to the previously used name, draw, with two arguments, x and y. This could be wrapped in an object, draw with point. Such code is easier to reason about in simple cases, and will be much better with more complex things as well, like drawing a rectangle or a cube. Quote straight from the clean code by Robert Martin says, even obvious dyadic functions like assert equals with expected and actual are problematic. How many times have you put the actual where the expected should be? The two arguments have no natural ordering. The expected actual ordering is a convention that requires practice to learn. Triads create way more room for errors and misinterpretation of argument ordering. General recommendation here is to avoid them whenever you can. Good luck with your refactoring, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.